Tonight on RGB, we discuss what happens when VIPs choose violence. We discuss the difficult issues around GBV and fame. And we dissect Boiti and Guji's blow up and fallout. This is The Real Gopoza, the show that does what WhatsApp and Facebook couldn't do this week, keep you connected and in the loop about what you need to know. I hope you're all watching because this is our last season and you don't want to miss out on hot scoops. Molweni, doing some more Okomangis. Now I am a cardboard cut out of Senazo Yolwa and tomorrow is World Mental Health Day. I asked my topic, and I discuss him in our personal and work lives, yet mental health disorders affect millions of people worldwide. And on a daily basis, ask your loved ones, ask strangers, are they okay? Because your kindness can really go a long way. Talking about kindness, guys, can we please stop with cyberbullying out there? Especially when the photographer that shared big of Makazi on stage that showed her inner, her dark inner thighs. Because I think it filters the editing in Korabtila because that is a perfectly normal looking woman. Makazi has been bullied enough in this industry. Well, let's focus on what she does best, which is amazing music. Absolutely. Now, expensive gifts, fancy dates, and rides in expensive cars have been the order of Kanye Mbao's second attempt at living and loving in Dubai. The media personality went back to her Dubai based Zimbabwean boyfriend friend Kudzai Mushonga and has been having the time of her life. Kanye and Kudzai's relationship hogged the headlines when Kanye abruptly left Dubai the first time and cracks in her love were exposed. Let's take a look. Uh, but guys, this hurts and if this is love... Hmm. Moral of the story, drink your water, upu me and aben zabat. If you have to choose between money and love, I know that a lot of people would suggest that you choose love, ne? But ultimately, the choice is really up to you. Nanditi, ufuneka ukete uba what's important in your life. Ukete umdoz ognika zonge zinto uzfunayo. Indo, da guys, ufuneka ukwazba, ukit nige naba indo ni na uifunayo. Aufu? This much shopper is in a nile kettle ne mal. Now this, this is what love looks like. Thank you, my baby. <laughs> Now on to things that really matter in tonight's scoop. RGB will be fishing for the truth around one of the murkiest situations to hit local tabloids and trending lists. Gender-based violence or assault and LGBTQIA plus abuse between celebrities. Now in Nintendo and Zekileo Bando in the last few days as Sugakuyo, and in order to deal with the topic as serious and as multifaceted as the Swani Rokoboza, Yeyati must meme a panel of professionals, all with their own unique points of view. The panelists do not necessarily reflect the views of the show, myself and my co-host, or even the SABC at large. I love how you say necessarily. <laughs> case um, by case basis. Our first panelist is a music industry insider who has enjoyed as much success as he has drama. The authority, Nota. Our regular on the seat of superstars, Tiamu Murisani. Also helping us see all the sides of the situation is Ria Khwabani. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Hi, thank you. Not as Funuk Alangawe, man, before we get into the the meat and bones of what we're here today, you did mention recently on social media that you got into a physical altercation with Stogie T, and there happened to be a woman involved within La Mes Ayonke. Yeah. So I was attacked by Stogie T. Uh, I confronted him because um, he had an altercation with a friend of mine. Uh, you know, um, he was making threats about me looking for me. And in that altercation, uh, a woman tried to separate the fight between Stogie and a friend of mine. And um, the, the woman uh, who 
I mean, is more commonly known as Nadia Nakai's manager, but Pindile Matroshi ended up getting hit in the jaw with a clenched fist by Stogiti. So I saw him at an event and I walked up to him to, you know, to confront him about the situation and actually try and get like a peaceful resolution. And he then tried to physically attack me, swung on me, punched, missed. I restrained him. I restrained myself. I did not strike back because, you know, I don't condone violence, encourage violence. I think that, you know, he's prides himself on being a really articulate person. So I thought he might be able to articulate his point and we could actually solve our differences amicably. But, you know, he decided to act in the manner in which he's acted. And it's just really shameful. And and so he was listed as part of like Spotify's heritage artist to pay tribute. I mean, SABC One viewers don't even know who Stogie T is. But um, for those who want to know, I don't think when you do look at his music catalogue, you'd think that he's the best artist to represent South African heritage anyway. Wow. And let's speak about um, spirituality. Yes. Because mm. there was an incident yes. recently that uh, allegedly happened at a hotel, a waterfall here in Johannesburg. Now, oh, you know, boy. Yes, yes. Mm. when two well-known personalities mm. got into some form of alter altercation mm. and a bottle was thrown. Now, apparently the basis of this thing, as we heard, Alleged. allegedly Alleged. is spirituality. Yeah. Could you enlighten us a little bit about approaching people in a space Thanks. like that? I wouldn't like it as, as, a, as a healer when you come on to mm. me and say, Ria, what do you see about me right now? Because I went out to have fun. I didn't go out. But mm. speaking of the whole alcohol thing, is is it or is it not true that sometimes alcohol can evoke, invoke, evoke the, the, the underground gang? To yeah, no, no, it does. I mean, the, the thing is, but then I say the alcohol, the spirits are evoked by certain different uh, spirits, 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 you know, yeah. and you can have an alcoholic. Spirit. Spirit. <laughs> There's certain things that you learn within the training that you would not do in a public space. Mm. So you step back and you look at what is it that made this attack happen. Mm. You don't look at at the same time, we look at it in, in, in British instances where obviously the case that was opened is, is grievous bodily harm, which is very wrong for him to throw a bottle at, at, at any other person, despite the fact that it's a woman, yeah. at any mm. other person for that matter. As a society in South Africa, we do have an alcohol problem. Yeah, that problem is that we are not talking about the dangers of alcohol abuse in our communities and in our country, and the celebrity and influencer culture is mm. just selling and glorifying alcohol taking like alcohol abuse. When you see the pictures on Instagram, when you see all the celebrities with their brands, all they sell you is sobriety and glamour. They don't tell you that this alcohol will make you drunk. This alcohol can lead to car accidents. This alcohol leads to violence. This alcohol um, actually where places where they sell alcohol is where most violence happens. Most crimes have got um, alcohol and drugs. The influence they have is an influence on kids, people who are unprepared. The envy that you get on Instagram, it's not a rational thing. Facebook is now going through some hearings because of the effects that their app has on kids. These things mm. are promoted on these things. People don't have controls over these things. They don't can't tell the difference between an ad and something that's being promoted. And all I'm saying is that they're not talking about the dangers. When you talk about car advertising, they tell you about the NSTAR, NCAP, whatever, safety rating of the car, if it crashes, the safety belts, you need to wear this, all that stuff, there's airbags and everything else. Alcohol doesn't have airbags, so when someone throws a bottle at you, you're going to get scarred in the face. Mm. But they also say yeah. drink, drink responsibly. responsibly. You need to take responsibility. Let's stop saying these um, celebrities can make money for anything. We don't have any moralistic like opinions about people who are actually doing things that are endangering our society. Not on Yafunu Ibamba Apo Bandu. I do know that the chat is starting to get heated. God, Nandi, I think I care for some more. Absolutely. <laughs> so the continent's gossip leader will be back shortly. Oh, okay. Uglandelayo, we discuss the difficult issues around GBV and fame, and we dissect Voiti and Bougie's blow up and fallout. Bandu Kailo Sazuayo is back trying to get to the bottom of what actually happened Pagatuko Voiti no Bougie. Still helping us make our way through this difficult subject is our panel consisting of Nota Tiamo and Ria. So you had mentioned something about a bail hearing Kapuji being moved 
in this instance though, um, the case is not a Schedule 6 thing, you know, it's, it's not a murder. There is no reason why his bail hearing was postponed other than a third hand, other than some funny business, and also him choosing the wrong person to attack, someone who's highly influential and very mm. politically connected. Okay, there's no right person to be attacked, let's yeah. start there. That's but true. I think also, you know, my thing is you're saying that in this country, and the, what I'm trying to stress out, when you have money, you have power, mm -hmm. right? And that's a global thing. Mm -hmm. You can't just say in this country, because then you're saying, you know, everywhere in the world, Whoever has money has yeah. power. No, no, it took 30 so years it's, to it's, get it's, RKD, it's, yes, it's, you're right. You know what I mean? So it's those kind of things that we need to look at. However, in the same incident that using your, 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 your point on influence, mm. at some point, people need to be made examples of. Mm. Mm. You know, if people... If, but you if, can't if, use bail if, to if, punish if, someone. No, bail but what is do you not mean? a punishment. Um, what I'm saying that under South African law, you bail cannot be used to punish someone. Mm. So you cannot deny him bail. This person is a person who is in the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. He's of a higher risk and higher danger. Mm -hmm. If I was well, a gay I'm man, I would fear it even more. Mm -hmm. If I had to spend a whole entire week in jail, you know, mm -hmm. from Thursday to Wednesday for a bail hearing, who knows what could happen what to you? What could happen to you? There were specific articles about the fact that he asked not to be um, incarcerated with other men. Even though you've per you are a perpetrator, you still have rights. Yeah. So the, 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 the beauty of the legal system is that everyone needs to be treated equally before the law. So when you are Mirandized, you are told your rights, read your rights or whatever. And then, you know, you have, you can say, this is what I would like for his safety. You know, as much as, you know, he's infringed on someone else's safety, he's now going to be incarcerated. And Lord knows what could happen between the day he's been um, arrested to his bail hearing. You know what I mean? Was he put in a different cell eventually? Do we have confirmation I of that? I think he should, he would have. I okay. think yes, they he did should say, have. They did confirm that he was moved to a single cell. Yeah. Okay. The only reason that can make a bail hearing be postponed is if there's further evidence that's been looked at. But on normal circumstances, you have 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours to appear before the magistrate yes. and get a bail hearing. As to why his circumstances are so different, we don't know. We do know that there have been reports that Ubuji has assaulted at least one other person before. It was uh, allegedly two neighbours. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Him and his but brother I, I were I, involved I, I, in a fight. If I remember, it was the yes. brother. And we don't know who whether was it was. Yeah. 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 It was a homophobic yeah. attack because okay. that is the suspicion or that was the rumor that mm. he was retaliating to a homophobic attack. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. again, there's nuance. No, no, no. I was, I was mm. just asking because. Yes. Uh, if he had been arrested before, how much of an influence would that have played on how this bail Obviously, would have Obviously, see, gone? the thing is, so, it's like a merit system or demerit system. Yeah. You know, once you're, on, once you're in the system, it just keeps going. Before the law, we are all equal. Mm. The problem is there by, by the prosecutions and the police. And because we are now being arrested by people that didn't study law, I mean, police, <laughs> they have metrics. Can I say something? So, that's Do what they? the problem the is. They just, whatever they have, but I it's not wrong. Can I, can I, I say you, something? You, you, can I just can say something to the country? Can have some, some I feel small, like, small, as a yeah. person, yeah. should you find yourself at any side of the law, know that you still the thing have about, rights and you want know your others. rights, that's when you get punished. I, I'm a black man, I know my rights. Very true. But sometimes I forget them just to be safe. With us having touched on character, especially people bringing up the fact mm -hmm. that Buji was once allegedly involved mm. in an altercation yes. that led to uh, people being stabbed, and then people bringing up the fact that Boiti has in the past, I think this was maybe 10, 13 years yeah, ago, it was... Uh, it, was, it was a while ago, has tweeted some problematic tweets. Where do we draw the line and say this was 15 years ago that Boiti tweeted something uh, problematic? She has grown, or we've seen evidence of her growth, and of we shouldn't growth. hold this against her. And where do we draw the line when we say, okay, Bougie might have been involved in that altercation yeah. previously, but that was so many years ago, he was not found guilty, and therefore we don't bring this in yeah. when we're looking at both of their characters. People need to understand that, you know, as humans, we live, we learn, we grow. Mm. And right now, when we found ourselves in a situation, in a society where everyone is woke, Mm -hmm. And there, there's a positive side of it and there's a negative side of it. There yeah. are people who are just too woke for their own awakening. <laughs> they just, just go to people. bed, just sleep. We cannot deviate the fact that we're dealing with two 
two people who are celebrities, but who are also still fighting for their position in society. Mm. Our problems are so unique that the, there's, there's lack of Ubuntu, mm. right? There's mm. lack of Ubuntu in our society, and I think the context Ubuntu? of the, the, the context. champagne bottle, Ubuntu. So the mm. context of what why we're missing what we are is, is is that same thing that we we are so quick to adopt ideologies and what's happening in the world, and then you wanna come here with Ria as a week, and I call myself a feminism, but I've got no respect for you. Patriarchy is not an African thing. As yeah. society progresses, less and less things are going to be acceptable socially, and we're becoming a much more humane society you know we breed out the murderers the killers we put them in jail and everything else so that they do not proliferate their sperm everywhere and re and procreate and stuff like that that's what we are doing and we're breeding out the violence my thing is we need to understand that there are two mm. parts that are important mm. within the lgbti acronym Tiamo, let me just uh, take a little quick break because in the Acha, some more, some more. Wow, 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 um, wow. I L -O definitely, <laughs> ah. I definitely want to pick this up. What does Funu Tatanje? Be careful, no Let us know on social media how you feel about how this conversation is progressing. Just now. Hey. Oh, to the break, we wrap up our chat about that dish dish kapoiti no food. Bandu, the only show big enough to bring you Africa's brightest stars, is back with more of the breakdown on the alleged battle that happened between Obuji and Oboiti. So, before the break, we were just about to get into um, defining what sexuality is <laughs> and um, what identity is yes. as well, and what gender is. But people don't understand the meaning behind it. So if you split it into two, you have okay. you LGBT, LGB, okay. right? Mm. Which has to do with your sexual orientation. Mm. Who which you are attracted who, to. Who you are attracted to. And in those three denominations, mm -hmm. right? You, you can be cisgendered. Mm -hmm. And what is meant by cisgendered is yeah, you identify as the biological gender that you have been born into, that you were signed that at, you were birth. Signed at yeah. birth. Yes. So now breaking down to the other side of the acronym, which is Q's queer, yeah. queer yeah. which mm -hmm. just re covers all of them. Well, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Queer, queer, queer can also be identify as, as either, yeah, but you're just yeah. curious. Yeah. Yeah. You know you're not I mean? label, but yeah. you're, because... then you're non-conforming. On the other side, you get people who are trans, you get people who are intersex, mm -hmm. which means you're also, you were born with two... Reproductive Yes. Yeah. You, you have no change you i'm not changed you have no decision in that mm. so what that's what people need to understand is we cannot therefore i take the acronym and apply it loosely. generally yeah. you know what i mean like, yeah. know that there are people who are they are gay men who love the fact that they are gay mm -hmm. and that they are men mm -hmm. attracted to other men mm -hmm. just like they are women who are attracted to other women mm -hmm. right now when you move into pronouns mm -hmm. unless someone has said these are my the pronouns i go by would be you know her whatever like they do on instagram now yeah mm. exactly mm -hmm. that's what you would then refer to that's oh. people who are now putting a whole binary against or on their uh, sexuality and orientation mm. so you cannot therefore just because someone is gay call them a she or a her if they do not identify as she, her. Okay. And that's, I, I think, that a, a, a thing that society on its own needs to stop. If Skengogo <laughs> or Buji identifies as a gay man mm -hmm. yes. and not a transgender woman, yes. that does he this count? Mm -hmm as gender-based violence. I would say it's gender-based, based on the fact that it's literally two genders, mm. you know what I mean, at, and mm. one has more power mm. than the other, right? In the sense that physically, mm. as a man... He's got, more, he's got more throwing power. He's got more throwing power, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm. A champagne bottle, guys, let's be honest. 
we're dealing with an assault. Mm. It's, 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 it's it. That's it. We cannot, we cannot base it on terminologies that where gender-based violence in South Africa, we know it's a history of, of constant abuse. It's, it's men um, abusing women, mm -hmm. you know. But so, guys, oh, wait, I think that the focus is way too much on the intimate partner, Lenduga, and also the yes, fact that... that no, so that's why we're coming in. Because we find a lot of, sometimes, a man will feel disrespected by a woman in the street. Yeah. And will, and will exactly, beat her exactly. up. Exactly. So you that's know? why we're coming in. That's why I'm saying that the, the point is that the gender-based violence, is a, it's, it's, it's so it's much bad and it's a term. However, in the law side of things, it's just assault. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And we're dealing with a case of assault here. And the case opened is grievous bodily injury, which is the truth, because if the bottle allegedly was thrown and, and cut, cut, cut caused a, a, a scar to her face, it is. Um, hey, so Bandu what the court is going to deal with here is the case that's been opened, which is assault, which is second common, the best, the second one, which is then qualifies him if he's found guilty, then he can go to jail. Because what he's done is that Boiti's scar, if it is a scar, it's, it's sustaining, like, all her life to maintain this mm. thing because it has caused bodily injury. But luckily she's got yeah. insurance for this. And she even said that in her police statement, because of the injury I, I'm in and because I use my face to make money, money. I, I needed to get insurance. So I'm saying luckily in this instance, mm. right, the, 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 nice the, the potential loss that she could incur from her right. can injuries be mitigated can be mitigated, by mitigated by because insurance. of the fact that she's got okay. insurance. This culture in South Africa of uh, cis women, especially cis het women, having um, gay men as their, their their friends or their acquaintances, and it's trauma this, it's trauma that. Whereas sometimes you'll find that those ladies' homophobia is a different, yeah. like it's a different flavor of homophobia. Yeah. It's cisgendered men's homophobia is direct. You see it immediately. But it's violent. You know and what I mean? It's homicidal. Mm. It's, it's it's wrong on its own. However, you you, you, you know what it is yes. the moment. You know what I mean. Mm. But those undertones that you get from your your girlfriends, that's the one that hits you the most emotionally. Because you think you're safe. Basi um, Just very briefly, we know how the situation escalated and how it ended up. Mm. But where do you think either party should have drawn a line and walked away? Um, in the say in in in. I mean, we we're all dealing with a legal matter here. That until proven guilty, guilty. Yes. Mm. based on evidence, mm. um, we really cannot say, I mean, the person is held, uh, maybe he probably even admitted to guilt. But what about the allegations? In, it's, 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 it's a matter of dealing with a, with a law matter and law matters until they're dealt with it before the court of the law. Mm. It, as far as, as we're sitting here is that the case that's open, which is assault, and that's it. At any given point in life, when somebody touches you in your studio, leave. Mm. Mm. Nota, violence is wrong Manifest on us. both parts. Mm. You know, like, just, it's disgusting. The fact that a projectile was hurled at someone is even more, like, repulsive. All right, Bantus Bamangazos has been here to our panelist, Unota uh, Uchiyamo no Ria, for taking the time to share their thoughts and opinions on this very, very thorny issue. Now, please also remember that the opinions shared tonight were of the panelists' own choosing and are not endorsement from RGB. Lastly, remember that there is never a right reason to engage in any violence of any form. And lastly, I also want to say, allegedly, <coughs> times a million, just in case there was no allegedly in front of any yeah. statement that was made here. Now, one of the hardest things to do in life is saying goodbye, and RGB has to do that right now. If you can't hold on and wait to see us next week, mm. then say hi anytime on our social media pages. Uh, mine is at Samora underscore Mangesi. If you want to chat with Usnazo, her handle is at Usnazo Yolwa. Bantu, if you just want to chat about the amazing gossiping and all the stuff that we did tonight, use the hashtag at Real Goboza. Usasimana go Facebook at official Real Goboza. Nago Instagram, nago Twitter at official RGB. Nukumbu like a bantu, but there are only four more weeks of RGB left. So please enjoy it now because it's first one. Liza Unishia. Good night, Tini. Is a bonana clever exile. Bye.